Looking good there, Santa. Today is another magical day at Walt Disney World. We're here with mom and we're sharing in the magic together. Lots of fun to be had at Disney Springs. Now today we're at Disney Springs experiencing some of the holidays all around. And one thing that mom has never seen before, I don't think David, you've, no, David's never seen it before either, is that tree trail. It's gonna be really cool making our way there right now. Holidays have definitely started here at Disney Springs with all sorts of decor, the green and red candy canes, super cool, all sorts of different merchandise right there, including the kids shirt. And I like that hat right there. Again, that same hat we've seen many, many times it is super popular. And moving over to this window, you can see there's Tinkerbell, more of those mugs, the shirt. Oh, look at this one. Oh, snap. And he snaps the foot right there. Super cute. Here for the holiday snacks. Yay. Technical side note, a couple friends mentioned that the 60 frames per second made them a little bit dizzy. So I am giving 30 frames a second another try. I'm always listening to you and your feedback, and I really do appreciate it. Please let me know what you think of the 30 versus 60 frames per second. Now, Dave and I walk by the Starbucks a few times now, and when we come by, more often than not, we see some really cool specialty drinks. And looking up there, I'm going to read a few off to you. Hot chocolate specials, snickerdoodle, caramel mocha, and raspberry swirl. Raspberry swirl hot chocolate? I might need to try that. They also have a morning pumpkin one of the fall specials. Pumpkin white mocha latte. Sounds like Mike's kind of drink. And the seasonal version with the pumpkin. Yeah. They also have a frappuccino as well, but we knew that. That's true. We knew they had pumpkin frappuccino. I love that secret menu item. We gotta, we gotta do more secret menus in the future. You know, we're on our way to the tree trail. Why not have a hot drink in hand? So we're gonna get in line right now to grab one of those specialty items. Honestly, I'm thinking about that raspberry swirl. It sounds awesome. Super excited to try this raspberry swirl hot chocolate. It is all thanks to the Mars family. Mars family, thank you again. It means a tremendous amount. The raspberry swirl hot chocolates. Not bad. It tastes like standard hot chocolate to me. It's not like super amazing hot chocolate. I much prefer the tuxedo hot chocolate. Personally, personally, what do you think? I like this one better than do tuxedo, you? definitely. I almost can't taste any raspberry in it. Really? Yeah, almost like none. Maybe try again. I, I, gotta, I gotta notice it, hold on. Maybe you have more raspberry. We split them up, so maybe it's, you have more raspberry in yours, but maybe it's oh, it's only okay. I'd go for tuxedo hot chocolate, but David says raspberry swirl. I prefer this definitely to tuxedo. There you go. Look at this. These guys are definitely brand new for the holidays. They're walking around on stilts around Disney Springs. It's amazing. And here it is, the Disney Springs Christmas Tree Trail. Let's explore. As we make our way in, you can see the garland all around, lights in the air, and I'm pretty sure I see snow way out there. Let's take a look. Mom's first time and David's first time seeing the tree trail. Goes all the way back there with different theming. We we'll take a look at this one first. Take a look at this tree right here. You can see the monorail looping around green and there's even a Tower of Terror right there. That's great. As we're making our way around, you can see it is snowing right here. A little bit of snow. I love it. There's Stitch right up there with a super cute hat on this tree. Mom's looking at it, probably thinking about Michelle. She knows right. Michelle loves Stitch. Take a look at this birdcage right here with mini ears inside. There's even a small one right over there. Super nice. And on top, look at the mini ears right on top. David's looking at a super cool one right here for Beauty and the Beast. You can see the Beauty and the Beast characters inside. Again, these lanterns, ornament lantern, available at the Christmas store. Okay, so they're actually selling these lanterns here. And you can see the chandeliers going all the way up, even the big chandelier up there. And on top, kind of like a rose inside. I'm gonna call it a cage up there. Very cool. I love that it's not too crowded right now. When you can come with lower crowds, weekday is the best for that. It really does enhance the experience. Sleeping Beauty one right here. At least that's what it looks like to me. You can see her right there and a great looking tree. Princess and the frog theming right here. And you can even see Tiana right there just about to kiss that frog and you can see that New Orleans feel all the way throughout even those trumpets right there at the top of this one look at the theming here as we see a cast member coming through celebrating with the holidays with us happy holidays I love it yeah 
great to see them in rollerblades like that. It adds a lot. There's a little mermaid one right here. You can see the Triton right at the top. To me, that is definitely the best part of this one. That topper, wow. Take a look at the carpet that mom's standing on there. That awesome one for Aladdin. And you can see it goes all the way up kind of with that, I'm gonna say fluorescent almost, or like the uh, bendable, the bendable cord goes through and it comes from the genie's lamp at the top there. I can almost, I can almost reach it, almost. And there's the snake right there from Jafar. This is a super cool tree. I love this one. Coming out of the lamp. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the boom. Yeah. Take a look at the Mulan one right here. This is a great one, and I love, I'm loving the carpet with all of it. It's so cool to see it. You can see the cherry blossoms. It actually reminds me a lot of the Washington, D.C. area. We get cherry blossoms there all the time. Actually, strike that. It's not all the time. It's only once a year. It's only once a year, but it, it feels like all the time when you live there. Here's another one for Snow White. You can see the deer right there along with those gems. Wow, from the Seven Dwarves. Look at the Toy Story one right Right there and you can see the looped paper right there that's definitely a new one and a very cool one. Oh my gosh it's a haunted mansion tree oh okay that's that's impressive gotta tell you this is a very cool tree you can see madame leota right there and that's that's the scariest part right there a little too scary for me but you can see a lot of haunted mansion fun all around even at the top and I marked it, I'm guessing 13. Super spooky. Something else that I think is new for this year is this little booth right here where they serve eggnog, hot cocoa, there's popcorn, there's pretzels, and the stand kind of right in the middle for guests to enjoy. From Pinocchio, take a look at this tree right there. You can see the violin kind of halfway up the tree there and Pinocchio's hat at the top and then next to it you've got villains and you can see Ursula's tentacles right there at the top super scary you see there's a lot of purples to this one some blacks in there a very cool design throughout definitely new trees this year throughout next up we have Dumbo take a look at this one right there and you can actually see it's either a chair or a drum I think it's a drum right up there very cool to see and peanuts peanuts as well for Dumbo great theming Next one's from Cinderella. You can see right there at the top, there is the glass slipper. So cool to see. Next to Dumbo and across the way from Cinderella, you've got Robin Hood. And I really like this one because you can see the targets right there where the arrows were shot in and there are three arrows and several of them are right there in the dead center. Very impressive, Robin Hood. Next one is Peter Pan. Take a look at this. You can even see Tinkerbell right there inside that lantern. Very, very cool. Going all the way up, you can see that spot spiraling light and even look at that you can see the tower right there with the kind of glowing yellow inside indicating the time very cool i love the star wars one right here in the background for it goes super well look at this tree topper up there it's a green lightsaber super cool kind of makes a great ornament right there like little yellows there that's great tangled one right over there look at those colors with the pinks and yellows in there and the flowers and even the art palette right there and next to it we've got the lion king and these are great take a look at some of these right here with these torches i love that and then out there at the top the topper of this one is fantastic rafiki's hands holding up simba there that is amazing here's the mary poppins tree right here look at that carpet below that's great you can see a lot of dancing right here in this one step in time throughout you see right there in the blue that is great throughout and even the penguins up there dancing great Mary Poppins one here. Walking away from the Mary Poppins one, we have that meet and greet with Santa Claus. Maybe it's good time for a picture. Of all the trees, this is definitely my favorite. Sorcerer Mickey, and right at the top, you can see the Sorcerer Mickey hat. The barrels for the water all around. This is spectacular. Even they've got the uh, lightning right up there for the magic. Wow. Just found out that the meet and greet with Santa is 45 minutes, so we're not going to wait in it today, but it is a virtual queue, which I love. Love the fact that Disney is doing that. You just give your name and your cell phone number and they text you when it's time to meet with Santa. Instead of having to wait in a 45 minute line, you just get the text. Definitely a fun tree trail this year. A lot of new additions that I could see all around. Love the decor, love the lights, and I love all the shopping that you can do 
along the way. Even over here, there's more of those shopping areas. He's trying a sample of the candy cane cotton candy. Mm, that is really good. Mom, give that a try. Very good. Never tried peppermint before. No. I like it. I like I do like standard cotton candy though. So it's like it's tough to kind of compete with standard cotton candy, but a very cool, unique flavor. So of all the trees that we've seen, my personal favorites are Aladdin and Sorcerer Mickey. Those are mine. Mom, your favorites. I like the Mickey and Minnie one back there with the stitch. Oh yes. I also like the Aladdin and the Peter Pan. Yeah, those are great. David, which tree was your favorite? I like that Peter Pan one quite a bit. The Lion King one had some nice effects too yes. as well. So lots of nice ones back here. I like the Rafiki holding up the Simba at the top. That was great. And here come those toy soldiers on stilts again, dancing in the snow. I love it. Hey. Gonna go see Santa right over there. You can see the snow's coming down. What a great holiday feel. Walking by the toy soldiers now making our way out. Like it a lot. I really, really do. But is it bad if I say that I still miss the Osborne family spectacle of dance? I, I still do. I, I still do. Looking good there, Santa. That was so cool to see Santa come up and interact with the toy soldiers. That we got a picture of him that was great well that was kind of scary the very first drop of a new camera it does happen this is the gopro hero 8 black and i usually carry it on that i am not at the moment because yeah you can probably see that it is broken <laughs> hopefully it looks like it's working fine there are pieces that flew off there's more pieces that are attached to it so i will be holding the gopro from for the rest of this vlog, but by the time I put it back in my hand for the next vlog, it'll be all set up, so sorry about that. It happens though, it just broke. It's okay, these things happen. I'm glad the camera still works, that's the more important part. Okay, bye GoPro broken pieces there. It's just the stand, it's not the actual camera. That's the, that's the good part, but it's really interesting to see him just holding a small little square and I'm not using this at the moment. And the snowflakes on the ground to wish us farewell for now. We're gonna make our way more around Disney Springs, possibly go see some resorts because mom loves visiting those resorts. Now, excuse any extra vibrations because I am hand holding the camera for the rest of this vlog. That's all right, as long as it still works. Take a look, there's more of those live actors here by the other exit of Disney Springs, and they sound really good. So we've decided we're headed to dinner, and we're trying a spot that David and I really wanted to try the other day, and we still do want to try Deluxe Burger. Now we have the opportunity to try it with Mom. I can't wait. Let's make our way over there. Woo! Wow. I've never been this close to the fire before. Oh, wow. Aristo crepes, I like it. Strawberry, salted caramel, banana, chocolate, hazelnut, s'mores, strawberries, and cream. Sounds incredible. We gotta try this. You wanna try it maybe after dinner? We'll see. Maybe, okay. We're walking along this bridge here and we're just discussing dinner plans. And I know we've missed Deluxe Burger once and we said we were gonna go. <laughs> and we're still gonna go. It's, it, it's a quick service, so it's easier for us to do. True. But mom's here, all right? And we're walking, just walking, and we're looking at a mountain ahead of us, okay? And we're all remembering how fantastic the food is here at the mountain ahead of us, a restaurant known as T-Rex. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna go walk over there, see if they have any availability, and see what happens. Sure enough, it's a super low weight at T-Rex, and we're already in line to get a spot. Are you guys excited? So excited. It's going to be spectacular. We haven't been in years. It, it has been years we've been at T-Rex. We're going all back as a family. Here we go into T-Rex. Mom, are you excited? So excited. Yeah. I think we're going into the Ice oh, Age That's game. awesome. Now, T-Rex is very similar to the Rainforest Room in terms of the animals moving and interactive kind of experience as you're eating. I love it. Oh, look at that orange uh oh whoa meteor shower whoa oh that's so cute i love the baby woolly mammoth definitely one of my favorites that we've seen you can see the lights are going crazy over there with the extinction event oh there it goes whoa meteor shower the menu looks fantastic can't begin to tell you how many things are really just popping out to me but about i'm gonna say two maybe three years ago we were here as a family enjoying t-rex and when we were here i had some of the best ribs of my life of my life not kidding so i asked our server alexandra i said i had best ribs ever like three years ago are they still like up to that level and she said yes they are still that amazing so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the ribs just today. It's called the Mess O Bones. You get the half rack or full rack. Might get the half. Maybe I'll split it with mom or David, not too sure yet. 
but I'm super excited about ribs. See, I'm already salivating about ribs. So we decided to order the mess of bones. David and I are going to split the full rack of ribs so David can try those ribs too. And mom's getting the Cobb salad. Hopefully we'll see if it competes with the Hollywood Brown Derby Cobb salad. The your shower is ongoing, but we've got our food. Take a look, I've got the ribs. David and I are splitting those. The fries underneath the full rack looks amazing. Mom's got the Cobb salad, looks fantastic. With right there on the top, looks like bacon bits. Can't wait to dig in. First bite of those ribs from T-Rex. If you are looking for quality ribs from Walt Disney World, these are my favorite. These are still my favorite ribs from Walt Disney World, from T-Rex. Absolutely incredible. The flavor is outstanding. A very strong hickory smoked barbecue flavor. I love it. I love them. They're falling off the bone. Mind blowing flavor. Mind blowing. 10 out of 10. Yum. We're falling off the bone right there for David. Here we go. Mom, how's your Cobb salad? I like it a lot. It's very different from the Brown Derby, but lots of blue cheese and other big, delicious things chopped in. Yeah. It's a great salad. I thought the ribs were very, very good. I did enjoy them quite a bit. Some great flavor to them. That sauce is really good, and they're done really well as well. I feel like for me, it's a little bit, uh, there was like a lot of bones in there or something along those lines. Overall, I did enjoy it. We heard our initial impressions after those first bites. Now we're making our way toward the end. I gotta tell you, these ribs, best on property, in my opinion. Get them if you love ribs. It's worth the wait. It is 100% worth it. Wow. Overall thoughts on T-Rex? Fantastic. And I gotta tell you, David and I split those full rack of ribs. I don't know how David feels. Haven't talked about this, but I could go for some dessert. Yeah, maybe. All right, we're thinking about it, but I saw a couple trays go by with, I think it was the chocolate explosion or eruption or extinction, or was it? Extinction. extinction, all right, chocolate extinction. And it looks super cool with dry ice, so I'm, I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. Sure enough, we are indeed looking at the end is near dessert menu here. I like that name, the chocolate extinction for four. You know, I, I, I'd i love it, mom would love it, Dave would love it, but it's a lot of food for three people. And we're, you know, we're not full, full, but we're like, you know, we're good. So maybe we'll do that, it's a little side. They also got the churros, the churro rex for two, chocolate pudding cake and cosmic key lime pie. Key lime always is a really good one. Sorbet sampler I think we had last time was super good. And the uh, ultimate prehistoric smoothies. That sounds pretty good too, so a lot of options. Chocolate extinction. Celebrating mom's trip down here. Something special. Not every day, something special. Here it comes, chocolate extinction. An extinction level events. Whoa. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. It's an extinction level event. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Chocolate extinction. Here we go. Gray vanilla ice cream. Tastes a little bit of the um, Butterfinger in there. A little bit of the crunch that I really like. I feel like the ice cream will be best with that cake though. I'm going to combine the two. This is how we're going to do it. A little bit of ice cream and some cake. It's almost like a fudge cake. I'm telling you. Super thick, super thick, super chocolatey with the ice cream. Perfect combination. This is pretty good. The combination of the chocolate and the ice cream. I can see that approach going on here. Kind of like the flavor combination there. Not my number one dessert by any means, but not a bad flavor. Mom, what do you think? Oh, I love it. The vanilla ice cream with the Butterfinger bits are delicious. And the chocolate bake is so fudgy. I'm so glad we decided on this one. Overall, I really do enjoy it. Is it the best dessert at Walt Disney World? No, no, it's not. But it is really, really good. If you have a larger party, you, you definitely want to wait for a larger party. It's recommended for four, so we bring, we'll bring. definitely be bringing a few pieces of cake back with us. It's really, really good. If it's just two of you, I don't recommend it just because it is so, so much. If you love chocolate cake and ice cream, you're gonna like this one. Almost guarantee it. And a little bit of that Butterfinger fudge to it. Yum. So overall, T-Rex was a huge success. I'm looking forward to coming back again soon. So glad we made this a priority today. Wow. And don't worry, Deluxe Burger will be prioritized in the future. I promise it's gonna happen. We've said it twice and we didn't do it. We're gonna do it soon gonna happen. As we're leaving here, I'm taking a look at the Build a Dino Experience by Build-A-Bear where you can, with the fluff, stuff your own dinosaur. And you can see they have several different kinds here for even the woolly mammoth. Look at that, woolly mammoth, different dinos. I think that's a sloth right there with those long claws and Velcro. Wait a minute. He's got Velcro so he can hug things. Oh, that's great. I love it. 
you got a little pink one, green, blue, red. Wow, this is fantastic. Maybe one day we'll build a dyno together. That, I feel like that would be a fun adventure. Build your own dyno. $24, some of them are 22. The uh, Woolly Mammoth is 22. The Sloth is 22. Good to know, it sounds like a fun gift. Now, as we were in the store, we saw the geode splitter in progress. They actually buy a geode right over there. Oh, there they go. And then they break it just like that and get their pieces of the geode. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Fantastic to see you buy your own geode and break it open. Very cool. As we're leaving here, I'm taking a look inside the boneyard or basically the evolution of the boneyard. You can see you can kind of brush away the dust right here and reveal the bones. That is really, really cool. You know, it's for kids, which is great, but adults can have fun here too, especially when there are no kids here. Really, really cool. Holidays at Disney Springs with T-Rex. Truly a fantastic evening. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon.